Today, we will talk about how to upgrade Windows 10 devices through BMC Client Management Console. To start with, we will first see why the process differs from normal patching versus Windows 10 upgrade patching in Client Management. BMC Client Management Patch, powered by Ivanti, automatically scans your environment and identifies which devices are missing which patches. When it comes to Windows 10 upgrades, Microsoft does not provide direct links to download upgrade files and hence Ivanti cannot distribute the ISOs in VCM. Therefore, manual download of the Windows 10 ISO must be done on Patch Manager. There are three options to download the Windows 10 ISO. First is Microsoft Distribution Network website wherein a customer account must be present. Only then the ISO can be downloaded on the device. Second is Microsoft Media Creation Tool which can be downloaded on the device and setup.exe will help in creating the ISO file. Third is volume licensing. Volume licensing is specifically used in case of Windows 10 Enterprise Edition as neither Microsoft Media Creation Tool nor MSDN website contains this particular patch. Once your ISO file is ready, we will verify if your patch repository is present on your patch manager. To do so, we will go to the console Click on Patch Management, Patch Manager, Configuration. You will see a path for a local patch repository created. If it's not set up, you can set up by defining a path on your patch manager where the Windows 10 ISO will be present. Once this is verified, our next step is to check whether the ISO file is renamed as per the Shavlik recommendation. To do so, we will go to Service Packs by Product. You will see Windows 10 listed here. We will double click on that. We will locate the ISO which we have downloaded. Right click on it and click on Display ISO File Name. In my case, it's Windows 10 Enterprise Edition 21H1 in US language. I will click on Copy to Clipboard. I will go back to my download and rename this ISO file. Once this ISO file is renamed, we will copy this file and paste it in my local patch repository on my patch manager. After this process, our next step is to go back to the console and create a patch group. Right click on patch deployment. Create patch group, we'll name it as Windows 10 21H1, click OK. Once the patch group is created, we will go to Patches tab, right click, Add Patch. Here, we have to add the patch which we downloaded. So we'll go to Service Packs only. From the drop down, we will select Windows 10. Click on Find. In this video, we have downloaded Windows 10 Enterprise X64 21H1 patch. So I'm going to select that and click on Add. Once I hit OK, I will be presented with another screen wherein I have to select the language. By default, US English is selected. If in case your language package is different, you can select from the list. I'll click on OK, hit OK again. Within a few minutes, you will be able to see that the path status shows as available and patch group shows ready. Make sure in Reboot tab, only reboot if requested by patch option is unchecked. Click on OK. Now all you have to do is assign your Windows 10 devices to this patch group and you will be able to successfully deploy Windows 10 upgrade patch. Thank you.